Welcome back. We continue our discussion on management of hypertension in the elderly. We will now talk about the prevalence of hypertension in older adults. First, we will discuss the global prevalence of hypertension. Then, we will talk about the epidemiology of hypertension in the Philippines. First, the global prevalence of hypertension. Hypertension is the leading cause of cardiovascular disease and premature death worldwide. Due to the widespread use of antihypertensive medications, mean blood pressure around the world has remained constant or decreased slightly over the past 40 years. However, when the statistics is classified according to low and middle income countries or LMIC and high income countries or HIC, prevalence of hypertension in LMIC actually increased. In 2010, an estimated 39.9% or 1.39 billion people have hypertension defined as systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 140 millimeters mercury and or diastolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 90 millimeters mercury. The prevalence of hypertension is rising globally due to an aging population and increased exposure to lifestyle risk factors like unhealthy diets and lack of physical activity. However, while high-income countries experience a moderate decrease in prevalence, lower- and middle-income countries experience a significant increase. Prevalence was higher in lower-middle-income countries at 31.5% or 1.04 billion people versus 28.5% or 349 million people in high-income countries. This is due to variations in the levels of risk factors like high sodium intake, low potassium intake, obesity, alcohol consumption, and unhealthy diet. Based on an analysis of data from 135 population-based studies that included 968,419 adults from 90 countries, it is estimated that in 2010, the global age standardized prevalence of hypertension, defined as systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 140 millimeters mercury and diastolic blood pressure of greater than 90 millimeters mercury and or current use of antihypertensive medications, was 31.1%. At 95% confidence interval, 30 to 32%. The age standardized prevalence of hypertension was slightly higher in men at 31.9% than women at 30.1%, and was lower in high income countries, 28.5%, than in lower and middle income countries, or 31.5%. The lowest prevalence of hypertension in men was found in South Asia at 26.4%, whereas the highest prevalence was in Eastern Europe and Central Asia at 39%. Now in women, the prevalence of hypertension was lowest in high-income countries at 25.3% and highest in Sub-Saharan Africa at 36.38%. The Prospective Urban Rural Epidemiology, or PURE study, includes 153,996 adults aged 35 to 70 years from 628 rural and urban communities in 17 geographically and economically diverse countries, who enrolled between 2003 and 2009. This study included 142,042 participants with blood pressure data at baseline, providing a unique opportunity to compare hypertension prevalence between rural and urban population in different world regions. The PURE study found that 40.8% at 95% confidence interval between 40.5 to 41% of participants had hypertension 
with a higher prevalence in men of about 41.4% than in women of about 37.7%. Residents of rural area had a higher prevalence of hypertension than urban residents in high-income countries and middle-income countries, but the opposite was true in lower-income countries. In 2017, the American College of Cardiology slash American Heart Association Task Force on Clinical Practice Guidelines redefined hypertension in adults as systolic blood pressure of greater than or equal to 130 mmHg and or diastolic blood pressure of greater than or equal to 80 mmHg. This change was based on findings from a number of large-scale prospective observational studies that reported significant increase in risk of cardiovascular diseases with increasing blood pressure even from levels as low as systolic blood pressure of 115 mmHg as well as the result of randomized clinical trials including the SPRINT trial, which will be discussed further in later lectures, that shows that Intensive blood pressure lowering with a target of systolic blood pressure less than 120 millimeters mercury reduces cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality to an even greater extent than does standard blood pressure lowering to a target of systolic blood pressure less than or equal to 140 millimeters mercury. Next. Let's talk about the epidemiology of hypertension in the Philippines. Cardiovascular diseases have overtaken infectious diseases as the most common cause of morbidity and mortality in the Philippines. Among Filipinos, hypertension is the most common risk factor associated with cardiovascular diseases. The Philippine Heart Association Council on Hypertension report on survey of hypertension or pression study series were initiated to assess the problems of increased cardiovascular disease prevalence. The pression studies found an increase in the prevalence of hypertension from 22% in the 1990s to 37% in 2021. There was also an increase in obesity in the hypertensive population and the prevalence of smokers was persistently high. However, the incidence of diabetes, stroke, and myocardial infarction decreased slightly. The 2021 survey of Pression 4 found a higher body mass index and central obesity rate among hypertensive individuals. Angiotensin receptor blockers are the most commonly used drugs for the treatment of hypertension. Despite high rates of treatment, around 68%, and compliance, around 86%, the rate of blood pressure control remains slow at 37%. Interestingly, in Pression 4, the prevalence of hypertension among the elderly population aged greater than or equal to 60 years was 72%. This can be explained by the fact that prevalence of hypertension is correlated with age. In Pression 4, awareness was high at 71% while unawareness was only 29%. Presumably, the higher prevalence of hypertension among the elderly and the high levels of awareness of hypertension reflect the fact that more elderly hypertensive individuals have had their diagnosis confirmed undergone workups, are on maintenance antihypertensive drugs, and are seeing their doctors regularly. If the rate of awareness is broken down according to age group, the rates of awareness versus unawareness starts to increase at age 50 to 59 years, 39% versus 21%, further increasing at age 60 to 69 years, 48% versus 21%, 70 to 79 years, 61% versus 17%, and in those greater than 80 years old, 45% versus 29%.
Let's take a look at the graph. Now, looking at the prevalence of hypertension, according to age group, reveals that it starts to increase at 51% at 40 years of age, showing incremental increases with increasing age and plateauing at greater than or equal to 70 years of age. Note, however, that the prevalence of hypertension in the group aged 30 to 39 years has increased significantly by almost fivefold compared with those in the individuals aged 18 years. This ends our discussion on the prevalence of hypertension in older adults. See you next time when we discuss the root cause of hypertension.